Hello everybody, how is it going? I am Lucas, and today we are gonna be checking out the amazing, the loud, the explicit noise machine known as the DOD Supra Distortion. It is just like the reissued Toyota Supra, but you know, that one's actually made by BMW, but it's a Toyota, but that's a whole nother different video. So let's actually jump into this. Actually, I got this off of, I think it was eBay, either eBay or Reverb, and the seller was nice enough to include the box for it, which is awesome. One of the only boxes I have at one of these older pedals like this. And kaboom, here we go. Nice, good, red is rad distortion pedal. Actually, also in the box, let's check this out. We have a, um, have a little owner's manual with it, and we also have a, so I have a warranty card um, obviously, I'm not going to fill out the warranty card because um, this pedal is long out of production. Let's look at the manual really quick. I actually didn't even look at it. Oh, we have some um, some settings here. We have, uh, see so if you can see that right here. We have uh, dark and dark and crunchy. I almost said dark and crunch, dark and chunky. We have raw bones and solo boost. I'm obviously not gonna follow those settings because they probably won't do much good, but just thought I would show you the uh, box. And uh, by the way, if you look on top right here, this one is actually made in China. Some of the UD pedals were made in the US for a while, but then they shipped off most of them to China. So this is actually the pedal. On the top, you have your little battery door, like on most DODs. Uh, this distortion, it's, it's a bit different from the other ones that I've tried because you just have a, a level, a tone, and gain. It doesn't really give you very much way to uh, shape the distortion very much. You got your power plug right here. Got your little stomper right here. The back's actually pretty nice. It's actually a nice, good rubber. It could, uh, I mean, you could actually, you could also put Velcro on here if you're putting it on a um, pedal board. This is the FC55C Supra distortion. So, enough talking about the pedal. Let's actually plug it up and see what it sounds like. So, got everything all plugged up. Let's check out the clean sound we're working with. Ah, nice, good, and clean. That was on the bridge pickup. And um, let's kick on the super distortion and see how it sounds. So let's check things up a little bit. We're gonna put it on the um, single coil position for my Fishman's right here. We are going to um, kind of level down a little bit. Got the gain, uh, you know, a little bit of gain going on. Let's see how this sounds. Uh, switch to the neck coil. And back to the bridge. Alright, this 
actually sounds pretty good. Let's mess with it a little bit more. It seems that if you push the level really hard, you get kind of a lot of mids and rolling that come in. And almost about at five, almost at noon, it kind of scoops a little bit of that out. Uh, the same thing with the tone. When you push it past kind of five, you get kind of that high-end hiss that comes in and the, with the gain. There's basically no change of the game. sounds with a tone knob that high up. single coil sound. Okay, let's, let's crank this bad boy all the way up. Oh, the noise is already coming up. Let's see what it sounds like. Fully cranked on the bridge. Now, just for fun, I'm gonna throw this in the effects loop of my amp and see what it sounds like. All right, I got the pedal in the effects loop. Let's see what it sounds like. <laughs> with some of these knobs. Ah, the brightness of the tone knobs actually coming into use now.
let's see what it sounds like cranked all the way up in the uh, fix loop this ought to be interesting here we go <laughs> is gonna wrap it up for the DOD Super Distortion. Now let's wrap things up and get some final thoughts on it. Now that we have heard the Super Distortion, what do we think about it? I think the Super Distortion does have its place. It can be a good pedal on any type of pedal board. If you play in like some lower gain stuff or even some classic rock stuff, you can get some pretty decent tones out of it, as you heard. I kind of really liked it when I was using it on my single coil settings. I think where this thing falls flat is that it doesn't really have that many controls. And when you try to really push it really hard, it just kind of falls apart. Because as you saw when I was playing it, there's a certain point to where when you push when you push the level anywhere past 12, it kind of starts to get out of control. I found the gain knob really didn't do a whole lot. It sounded really good. I liked it when it was low, but I found the harder you pushed it, it just kind of didn't do anything. It just kind of stayed the same. The tone knob, the tone knob is actually, it's fairly decent. It kind of behaves like you hope a tone knob would. You know, as you crank it more, you kind of get that high and starts to come through. I think it sounded best like right around seven, seven and a half to eight kind of in that range, well, six and a half to seven, I'm sorry, somewhere around there, I thought it sounded good. Overall, I think this is one of the better DOD pedals that they made. I know they do have the grunge, and I've tested a few other of those. I'll link that up top if you wanna check those out. I think the pedal's pretty cool. I think it's it's best suited for, if you do it, if you're playing like in a worship group and you need a little bit of grit, I think this would be good for it. Uh, classic rock. I anything beyond that, like if you're trying to do like metal or anything like that, I, it, it, it falls flat. It just doesn't really do it for that. And it, I don't find it truly made to be put in an effects loop or used as a preamp because it, it actually behaves pretty well when you put it in front of your amp. So that is going to wrap it up for me with the Super Distortion. Let me know what you think about this pedal in the comments down below. But as for me, I'm going to have to be out. Peace.